Welcome back, this is John Locke, and today I'm answering a general question uh, that I'm sure that a lot of you have. A friend of mine asked me this as well. Uh, they were having some issues with a particular local client, but this has to do with ranking in the three-pack map. At the top of the page, uh, in the first page of Google, when you search for whatever it is, a service or a product, uh, and then a city, uh, usually you will see a map Google Maps uh, with uh, three businesses in that map at the top of the first page Google. So the first thing to know uh, with this, proximity matters. So how close you are uh, to the particular cluster of businesses that show up in that map is going to have an effect. So you could walk a half a mile down the street, you could get totally different results with the map. Um, you could, you know, go, you could drive like another like mile, five miles, and the map results will change. Uh, if you're Googling just a generic term like uh, HVAC or electrician or auto body uh, repair, or even power tools or, or whatever it is. Um, so a thing to remember, um, if you're Googling the city plus the service or product that you're trying to find, usually... Uh, it's going to be one of two things, whatever's closest to you at that given time or whatever's in the center of the city. So uh, if you're just, if you're Googling from outside the city limits and you're Googling for, um, let's say like Sacramento web design or you're Googling Indianapolis craft beers or you're Googling um, uh, power tools in Austin, Texas, uh, it's either going to be one of two things, whatever is closest to you in proximity or whatever's in the center of the city. So uh, it probably does help to have a location near downtown. That is going to affect the results. Um, but if you do not have a location in downtown, there's a couple things that you should do. Make sure that your signage on your storefront is very clear from the road. Uh, so if the Google car drives by drives by the road, it can see the sign on the outside of the door uh, and it's visible uh, to the Google car. If you lack that, then I would say take a photo of that storefront with your signage, with your logo, and make sure that you upload that to your Google My Business to where Google knows that is your storefront and that is what you do. Second thing that I would say, make sure that you have both a Google and a Yelp profile and that you were getting reviews on both of those. Now a lot of people think that Google reviews have an effect on where you are in the map. That is true. But also Yelp has a great effect on where you're going to land in the map. And in fact, um, as I noticed with my friend, I was trying to help them out. Uh, I noticed that most of the uh, things that are in the top 10 of the Google Maps are also uh, in the top 10 of Yelp, uh, not just with Google reviews, Yelp reviews. So that leads into the next thing that I think is very important for Google Maps, uh, that is very important for Google Maps in ranking in that top three uh, map pack. And that is getting your business categories right. Uh, so one thing, when you're setting up your Google My Business, look at the other businesses that are ranking for the term or terms, search terms that you're trying to rank for. Uh, notice what business categories that they are in. These are the same business categories that you should have for your Google My Business profile. So also go over to Yelp because if you Google this, if you scroll past the map, uh, you will notice usually in a local SEO search that the top position, maybe the top two positions, maybe the top three positions uh, are going to be Yelp landing pages for that city and that particular product or service. Look at the business categories that they have as well. You are going to want the same business categories on your Yelp page. Uh, so this extends to other places where you can have a business category. Most notably, I would say the third most important is yp.com. So make sure that you claim your profile on Yellow Pages. Uh, yp.com, uh, do whatever you got to do. Uh, do, you fill out a form, you basically they'll call you and confirm that it's you. Uh, but make sure that you claim that profile and have the correct business categories. 
Now, sometimes in certain searches, there will be a landing page as well at the top of the uh, search results. And we talked about this in the piggyback SEO video, uh, using piggyback SEO to get more leads. But uh, make sure that you have the correct business categories uh, on yp.com. If you are not on the landing page for yp.com for that local search, then you need to change those business categories. Fourth thing that you need to do, uh, make sure that you are mentioning that thing that you are trying to rank for on your website prominently. Uh, make sure that it is in the title tag of uh, the page that you have uh, set as the link for your Google My Business profile. Now this could be your homepage. If you have different locations and you have different uh, Google My Business listings for each of those locations, uh, it might be advisable to set the location pages as the destination link. Uh, but mention what you're, the thing that you're trying to rank for very prominently, the city and the thing that you're trying to rank for as well as your brand name. Uh, and then also look at the elements that are on each page uh, for those other uh, things that are ranking in the map. You'll notice sometimes in Google Maps that if you Google a certain thing, you will see that Google says their website mentions this thing. It mentions, or it mentions something that's very similar to that thing. So that is a clue that Google is telling you that it's looking for those certain phrases for that particular thing. It says, these things are synonymous with this. And if the web uh, site mentions these things, then that means that we should probably rank it for that. Uh, lastly, I would say, uh, look at your, your third party reviews, make sure that uh, people are mentioning that thing. If you can get them to mention the thing that you're trying to rank for in the reviews, in the Google reviews, in the Yelp reviews, in the third party reviews, that's gonna be a good thing for you to do. Uh, if they mention the exact thing that you're trying to rank for, that's a good thing. Uh, lastly, I would say uh, when it comes to uh, uploading uh, photos, making sure that your Google My Business profile is complete, do that, fill out your Google My Business profile, uh, absolutely complete, put your hours of operation, uh, put your you know, menu link, put your appointment link, put your website link, uh, uh, put like from the business, business description, mention the keyword phrase that you're trying to rank for, mention your city, uh, most definitely fill out all the information like fully, completely, as much as you can possibly put in there. Uh, and like I said, uh, get reviews on Google and Yelp and then any third party sites that seem to be prominent uh, in your industry. These are things that will help you. Now, if you are 20 miles outside of your city limit uh, and you're trying to rank for, let's say you're 20 miles outside of Sacramento and you're trying to rank for Sacramento Web Design or Sacramento HVAC or uh, Sacramento Auto Repair, it's not gonna happen. Uh, you're not gonna be in that map. Things that are closer to the center of the city are gonna rank ahead of you. So if you're in, a, in an adjacent city and you're trying to rank uh, for that city that's you know, 10, 20, 25 miles away, uh, good luck to you because it is probably not going to happen. Your best bet is to set up a landing page for that city uh, with directions to that city, uh, some information if you have reviews from people in that city that might be a way to go, but you're probably not gonna rank in the map. Well, I hope this answers your questions about the three-pack map in Google. If you have additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. My name's John Locke. My business is Lockdown Design and SEO. I'm here every single day answering questions on SEO. Would love to see you subscribe. That's all I have for now. Until next time, peace.